What's up guys, this is Sora with a new episode of Absolute Beginner Tutorials for Unreal Engine 4. The goal of this series is to give the absolute beginners with no experience in game design or programming or even using Unreal Engine 4 before the tools to create your own games from scratch. We start from the fundamentals and work our way up to make a simple side-scroller game. And hopefully on a way I'll teach you the tools necessary to create your own games. So welcome to the part two of the series. If you have missed part one, you can go back and watch it. Where I talked a little about game design and also the basics um, the basic logic of creating games in Unreal Engine 4. In this video we'll take a look at the user interface of Unreal Engine 4 and creating static meshes in the game. And we'll do this through creating the first game mechanic in our game, which is the exit mechanic. Uh, we discussed this in part 1. So our goal is to create the exit mechanics for the game, as I said, for the level that we are in. So, what I mean by that is that the level is closed. When the player touches a platform, the level opens, the exit opens, letting the player progress through the game. So, how do we achieve this? One way of doing this is this. We block the exit with an object. We define an event which will be triggered when the player walks into the platform. And then when the event is triggered, an action will be executed. Removing the block um, from the exit. So detecting the player is the event that will trigger our action which is removing the block. Please pay close attention to the uses of events and action in this solution as this is the key, one of the keys anyways, in creating your own games in the future. As I explained in the first video, it is this combination of actions and events that creates the desired behaviors in your games. So let's take a quick look at how this uh, mechanic will look in the game. So as you can see we have the player with a timer. So the time is limited. Um, he must get out of the level within time. And then we have the door here. As you can see it's closed now. So we make our way up the level while avoiding these enemies which will send which they will send us back to the beginning of the level if we touch them. And now we touch the platform and the door opens. So now we can get out of the level. So that's the mechanic that we want to create. Now, so how do we plan to do this? First, we create the exit, then we create the platform, and at last, last but not least, we code the behavior. Because if we have the exit and a platform but no code, then nothing will happen. And we'll use something called the level blueprint, which I will tell you about in the future tutorials. There is also a need for the player and the level of course but they are pre-made in the engine so we didn't, don't need to worry about them right now so let's go into the engine um, open the Unreal Engine launcher and click on launch here up here to the left uh, afterwards you'll go to this Unreal project browser go to the new projects tab choose blueprint and then choose side scroller um, 
don't touch anything else for now this is the folder that your game will be saved at and this is the project name so click on create project after you do that you'll end up here so first of all how you move in the viewport you hold the right mouse button and you just move it WASD like you do when you play games the first thing I'll do I'll just um, select this with the left mouse button and delete it because I don't like it I think it looks nicer like this so you can select things with the left mouse button in the viewport so these things that you see in the level they are called static meshes and what they are they're basic units used to create world geometry for levels in Unreal Engine 4 so we'll use a static mesh to block the exit so uh, select this by left clicking on it as you can see it's too long so we have to shorten it this widget that you see here is used for moving the static mesh all meshes will have it so hold the left mouse button and drag it up then um, if you press R while selecting the static mesh you'll get another widget which is used to scaling used for scaling so hold the left mouse button again and drag it down drag the mouse down to shorten this mesh press W to go back to the movement widget now we'll create the door with uh, the cut and paste method as you might call it there are other ways to create static meshes but we'll do this by cut and paste so or by copying so hold alt and then drag the static mesh down and you'll create a new one so it's the alt key so as you can see now we have um, the door and this is the door you can actually rename it but by going to the word outliner and double clicking on it so you can change the name now call it level exit oh caps lock was on level exit so now that we have the level exit let's create the platform at the top of the level as I said there are other ways for creating static static meshes go to this part of the uh, user interface and you see here there are basic basics or basic so select that and here you see cube so hold the left mouse button and drag it inside the level and you can see that now we have another static mesh we'll use this as a platform if you press F while holding while um, selecting a static mesh you get you focus on it and if you hold alt now and use the left uh, right mouse button you can zoom in and out and left um, will let you rotate it around it while holding alt you're holding alt while doing this so now we will place the you can place the uh, mesh wherever you want and we can scale it even a little bit just to make it fit a little nicer so now we have our platform as well and that's basically it for this um, tutorial for this part of the tutorial um, now we have the exit and we have the platform static meshes as you can see so the next step is to code the desired behavior and we'll, as I said, use something called level blueprint, um, which we'll do in the next video. So thanks guys for watching and you can like and subscribe and also, of course, leave comments if you have any questions or any suggestions. Um, any things that you want me to show you in these videos so see you in the next video